in today's session we are going to see how to create azure cosmos db account and then how to create database in the database we are going to add container and then we are going to add some data to that container we will query and see the data please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel let us start this is azure portal in this azure portal we will search for the azure cosmos db resource here we can search for the azure cosmos db resource new azure cosmos db account to display there are no cosmos db account so we are going to create one new azure cosmos db account let us click on that create azure cosmos db account basically azure cosmos db provides uh, different uh, types of api to support the various types of databases nosql this is nosql database so here we can use core sql api uh, or mongodb api cassandra api azure tables and graph for graph gremlin api so let us create a core sql database account so we can only create one of this uh, type of account so let us start with that core sql account resource group uh, they, yeah there is a test resource group let us select that one account name cosmos db account name so let us put sample cosmos db account okay and location it is by default selected there are two types of the capacity mode one is uh, provision throughput and second one is serverless in case of the provision throughput uh, this is basically we need to provide how many request units we want to use there are again uh, two types in this and in the serverless it will be uh, automatically consumption based model uh, so we need not to specify the number of request units in cosmos db the capacity is measured in terms of the request units so request unit is nothing but cpu and memory in the background it is based uh, measured in terms of that uh, currency so if more number of request units and then more so now let us use azure free tier account so the we will use the azure free tier discount and also there are uh, with azure cosmos to be free tier we will get 1000 argus per second and 25 gb of storage free in an account so well, let us you can enable free tier so we are using the free tier account okay so limited total account throughput the limit the total amount of throughput that can be provisioned on this account so let us select that option next global distribution global distribution here basically we can select uh, uh, azure cosmos to be either geo redundancy okay geo redundancy means uh, it will be multiple regions the data will be replicated and uh, multi-region rights that means the it will be the data will be written uh, on multiple regions so that is uh, for this uh, sample demo we will uh, disable that one let us click on the networking networking again either we can create a private endpoint uh, azure cosmos db with uh, private endpoint or a public endpoint so let us use uh, for this uh, glow up all networks so if we want to be more secured we need to create a private endpoint next backup policy there are two types of backup policies either we can give periodic backup policy or continuous backup policy so let us keep the default values backup interval every 240 minutes it will take the backup and backup retention it will keep that backup for eight hours copies of data retained two and backup storage redundancy geo redundant backup storage if you want to uh, store the multiple copies across the regions on the geo redundant if we want only the local redundant backup storage we can select this one let us keep the default values now encryption the data that is stored in azure cosmos db is by default encrypted data at rest it protected and uh, at rest using service managed keys by default if we want to use the customer managed keys then we need to select the second option but you will not be able to switch back to the service managed key once you select the customer managed keys okay next tags see here these tags are used basically to group the uh, uh, some of the resources under one uh, tag and to get the consolidated billing for the tag under all resources uh, so for this uh, we can put uh, uh, cosmos db series okay value key cosmos db series and value also cosmos db um, yeah cosmos db sample okay so azure cosmos db account now let us review and create this cosmos db account okay validation successful now click on create it will take a couple of seconds to create this cosmos db account
example cosmos db account has been created click on the data explorer okay so here we are able to see let us refresh this one so there are no uh, we have created this cosmos db account using uh, sql api so now let us create a database in this cosmos db account okay new database click on that new database now put sample database sample database okay so we have selected provision throughput provision throughput means uh, we need to provide uh, the number of request units capacity so in cosmos db the capacity is measured in terms of the request units and the cost the bill uh, depends on this uh, request units if they more number of are used that means uh, more amount more currency okay so here uh, let us specify the database maximum are used per second thousand are used per second that means this is auto scale between 10 percent of maximum that is 100 are used to the thousand are used depending upon the requests depending upon the traffic it will vary between 100 to 1000 are used per second okay this is the cost if it is uh, 100 are used it will be 8.76 estimated cost for one region within the one region if the it is maximum 1000 are used per second if it will be around 87 dollars per month so click on ok Now let us refresh this one. Okay, we created sample database. We can see the scale, the configuration that we have given. Maximum are used, thousand are used per second. Okay, so now this database is empty let us create one container within this database we will create container sample container we can use automatic indexing that means all the properties in your document will be indexed by default and partition key partition key is required whenever we to make the queries efficiently uh, so that we can use that partition key in our filter where class uh, whenever we are doing lookup that will improve the performance and uh, efficiency of the queries by default we can select the id that is the id created by the cosmos database as the partition key and in general if there are more number of values to that partition key that means say that is a good um, partition key so that it will have more number of partitions which will uh, allow to query that particular partition on that particular partition okay add unique key unique key it is optional if we want to enforce the unique constraint then we can add the unique key okay and analytical store analytical store basically if we want to use some of the data to as a, for analytics then we can use our snap link that will create the analytical store and we can run the analytics on the top of that one for that we need to enable the snap link okay for now let us go with partition key default key id as partition key and uh, let us click on okay this will create the sample container in that uh, sample database okay Now we are able to see the sample container so items since we have not uh, inserted any data so it is empty this is the partition key right and it is empty so now settings so here time to leave time to leave is we can specify the time to leave if it is off that means the data will not be purged but if it is 
on then the data will be purged so we need to specify after how many days or how many hours so this is the automatically delete items based on the ttl value this is the second so after this the time provided here the data will be automatically deleted so let us keep it off be careful while creating this one if you by default if you keep on then all data will be purged after uh, specified by default minus one uh, yeah geo spatial configuration so here if we are working with the uh, geo spatial data lat long and polygon uh, geo spatial data then we need to specify the geometry otherwise by default it is geography okay and uh, we can also create stored procedures and user defined functions and triggers various database objects under this database so now let us add a sample item click on new item so here by default uh, it is coming uh, with the id okay so the just i'm creating sample item so here we are selecting id as one and category as the personal right uh, and name groceries okay description so we have created id as the partition key and uh, yeah this is sample uh, record so as we know cosmos db is a no sql database here data is stored in the form of json documents so this is one of the document one item within this sample container okay let us click on save okay as soon as we click on save it created this this ts is the timestamp that got created an e-tag this is useful when we want to handle the updates or to maintain concurrency and yeah let us query this data now we are able to see this item here right now let us refresh let us close this settings scale okay and items refresh this so we have one item right we have created id as the partition key let us query this select start from c since we have only one item we even if we specify where c dot id is equal to one execute this query zero yeah this is a one right okay now we are able to see since we have specified id as a string then we need to provide this one so we are able to query this so since our partition key is id that is the lookup key and it will go to that particular partition and uh, get uh, give us result back with high performance it will only scan that particular partition okay so it is a good practice always to have a partition key where we are applying filter or where we use the uh, lookup queries okay we are going to continue this in the next video we are going to see how to create a sample application and we will use that application to create a data records and to query the records from that application think it is helpful to you please don't forget to subscribe